Good morning, Stop Fordians. It is 20 past 10 in the morning. I hope you're all alright. This is going to be a series of vlogs that we do so I can show you why Stockport is the coolest place to live. Now, one of the things that we are discussing and thinking about is why do people choose to live in Stockport instead of Manchester? Manchester being a really big city, it's got lots of things going on, lots of opportunities, lots of shops, parks, places to work and play and um, well why Stockport? So today you're going to come with me and we're going to commute, that means we're going to go into the city centre and we are going to see how easy, quick and cheap or expensive it is. So I live in the city of Manchester but I'm going to need to get public transport there so come with me and we're going to see uh, what it's like. Okay. Now, the trams usually run every six minutes or less, and it's a Saturday morning, so it should be running quite frequently. But due to lockdown, that's becoming more and more spaced out, so I'm waiting seven minutes for a tram. Um, you can see if I move there. Um, I can see where the next couple of trams are, and then if I show you behind my shoulder here, we've got a map. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Coming to you from beneath the mask. Um, this is me at Manchester Piccadilly Station, which is Manchester's main station. It's incredibly busy. And um, people are doing a really good job of social distancing wearing masks, which is great. The time is 11.03, so it took me um, 43 minutes to get here. That's very slow. It's much quicker normally, but must be to do with lockdown. Got to be. Um, I know that I could walk this in an hour, but I didn't want to, and not everyone can. And I know that I could cycle this in about less than 15 minutes, but I'm going on a bike ride later, so I'm saving my energy. So 43 minutes to get into the city centre. Three miles, that's rubbish, that's rubbish. It's very slow. Um, I don't know how much it cost, because uh, we touch in and touch out, just like London and it works out your cost of your trip based on the zones. So I live in zone two and I'm now in zone one. So I will do some Googling and by teacher magic, I will put on the screen how much it costs now. Okay, stop Fordians. I am here at the Stockport train station on a very windy day. And if my phone doesn't blow out of my hand, it will be a miracle. So this is the main station in Stockport and it serves as a fantastic, fantastic link really between um, uh, the north and the south really. Because the trains that run through here are going to London every, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, which is fantastic. And it only takes maybe one hour 50 to get into the capital. And back up to Manchester, it's going, going to take us eight or nine minutes. Can you believe that? That's less than playtime. So if we started playtime here at quarter to 11 and got on a train, 
we would be in Manchester before the end of playtime. How strange is that? So I'm going to take you with me and we're going to see um, how we buy the tickets, how much they cost, uh, what the trains look like, what the platforms look like and how quick the journey is. You ready? Niños, mira, aquí. This is a blue plaque, which means it is something really important in our country and um, something important happened in history in Stockport and it says Channel Island evacuees in June, July and August 1940 Stockport welcomed over 1,200 evacuees from the Channel Islands the children were cared for by local families until the islands were liberated in May 1945 so what happened there is that was um, just near this within the first year or so of the start of World War II um, there is a part of Britain that are tiny little islands near to France and um, they were not deemed as safe um, in World War II. So the children got evacuated. That means taken away to safety um, up to Stockport and families up here look after them. So I wonder if any of your grandparents or any of their parents or your great parent, grandparents did that and looked after any of these children for five years of their life um, during the war. I would be so fascinated to know that. But I just thought, I see a blue plaque, I go and I read it. I learn more about Stockport and I love it. Okay, so this is how we do it. We go up to the machine and we click buy. And then we are going to select Manchester. And we think Manchester Central Zone because there's lots of train stations in Manchester. And I would like the option of which, which to get. And bingo. Here we go, here's our ticket. Stockport to Manchester. Let's go. Okay, Ninos, we did it. We got the train from Stockport to Manchester. It took eight minutes. That's like a half of playtime and 30 seconds more. That's incredible, right? Uh, the cost was just over four pounds for an adult, so it's probably half of that for a child. And I'm right in the middle of Manchester, which means I have access to so many wonderful things, just like we have in Stockport. Shops, theatres, places to play, places to eat. Uh, museums to look at, sculptures, bits of art, wonderful, wonderful things, dead easy. And this station as well is very well linked to other places as well if you're wanting to go to, um, I'm not even sure, anywhere, anywhere. Uh, but for me, I'm going to go home. See ya, bye bye.